Hello students, listen to me Let the study TLE The subject that brings out the best in everybody And it includes you and me Agriculture ICT Industrial Arts HE All these components will help you to get ready So you could reach your goals and dreams Let the study TLE Let the study come with me all of the knowledge and all of the skills will help you to be life ready. Will help you to be life ready. Good day, students. It's another awesome time to learn new things. This is Sir Ike, and welcome to our virtual PLE class. Lord, true source of light and wisdom, give me a keen sense of understanding, a retentive memory, and the capacity to grasp things correctly. Grant me the grace to be refined in my action, and the skills to express myself with thoroughness and clarity. Be with me at the start of my work. Guide its progress and bring it to success. Amen. Before we move forward, make sure that you have all the materials that you need for our day's lesson. You can play and pause this video if you need more time answering the activities. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us have a short review of the lesson last meeting. Direction Identify the following questions about the market forms of fish. Both side of the fish is still joined but with bones removed. What market form of fish do you think is this? You are right if your answer is butterfly fillet. Second, what market form of fish refers to boneless side of fish with or without skin? If your answer is fillet, then you are correct. What market form of fish refers to completely intact as caught? The right answer is what we called hull. This refers to the cross-section slices containing a section of backbone. What market form of fish do you think is this? You got it right if you answered steaks. And lastly, this is a market form of fish wherein viscera, scales, head, tail, and fins remove. The right answer is dressed. Now that you have recalled our previous lesson about the market forms of fish, I want you to watch this short video.
based on the short video that you have watched, what do you think is it all about? If your answer is all about how to check the freshness of the fish, then you got it right. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to Identify the guidelines in checking the freshness of fish Appreciate the importance of familiarizing the cooking techniques for fish and shellfish And perform and present any fish dish As we begin, let me check your prior knowledge about today's lesson Listen carefully and try to find out the correct answers. Direction Read and analyze the questions carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. What process is removing scale from a fish? Is it A. Deboning B. Filleting C. Scaling or D. Skinning The right answer is letter C, scaling. Number 2. What process is removing the flesh of a fish which has been cut or sliced away from the bone? Is it A, deboning, B, filleting, C, scaling, or D, skinning? If you answered letter B, filleting, then you are correct. Number 3. What process involves using a specialty knife to separate flesh from bones? Is it A. Deboning, B. Scaling, C. Skinning, or D. Splitting? You're right if your answer is letter A, deboning. Number 4. What process is dividing the lobster into two parts? Is it A, deboning, B, filleting, C, scaling, or D, splitting? If your answer is letter D, splitting, then you got the correct answer. And lastly, number 5. What process is removing skin from a fish mainly to prepare muscle tissues beneath for consumption? Is it A. Deboning, B. Scaling, C. Skinning, or D. Splitting? If your answer is letter C, skinning, then you are excellent. Job well done! To start our lesson, let us first define terms which will appear and may bring confusion. Words to define are Bulging means swelling outward protruding Next is the word jostle means push elbow or bump against roughly And lastly the word elastic it means able to resume its normal shape spontaneously after contraction or distortion I think you are all set and excited to learn new things. So let's start. Today, we will be dealing about checking the freshness of fish and cooking techniques for fish and shellfish. All foods including fish and seafood must be handled and prepared in a clean area to avoid cross-contamination. Proper food handling is extremely important for guaranteeing quality 
and safety and paramount for seafood because it's often more perishable than other foods. Spoilage can happen quickly. Enzymes within seafood flesh kickstart the decaying process, which is further helped by naturally occurring microorganisms. Knowing the best way to safely handle and store seafood can help to make it last longer, taste its best, and limits any risk of illness. Now let us identify the guidelines in checking the freshness of fish. In checking the freshness of fish, it should have fresh and mild odor. Second, eyes are clear, shiny, and bulging. Third, a fish should have red or pink gills. Fourth, texture of flesh is firm and elastic. And lastly, scales must be shiny and tightly cling on skin. Now let's proceed in checking the freshness of shellfish. Number 1. Oysters, clams, mussels in the shell must be alive. Tightly close shells when jostled. Number 2. Live or shock oysters must have a very mild, sweet smell. Number 3. Discard the muscles that are very light in weight or seem to be hollow. Number 4. Strong fishy or a brownish color is a sign of age or spoilage. Number 5. Live lobsters must be alive when cooked. The meat will be firm and the tail springs back when straightened. Number 6. Frozen shrimp should be solidly frozen when received. Number 7. Glazed shrimp should be shiny with no freezer burn. Number 8. All shrimps should smell fresh and sweet. A strong fishy or iodine smell indicates age or spoilage. Number 9. Live crabs should be kept alive until cooked. And lastly, number 10. Frozen crab meat should be treated like any other frozen meat. After knowing the guidelines in checking the freshness of fish, let us proceed with the cooking techniques for fish and shellfish. The following are the cooking techniques for fish and shellfish. We have scaling whole fish, filleting fish, skinning fish, deboning fish, opening clumps, and splitting lobster. The first cooking technique is what we call scaling whole fish. Scaling is the process of removing the scale from a fish. Once your work area and fish are ready, you can begin the actual scaling. The following are the steps in scaling whole fish. Lay your fish on the board or hold it steady in water. Hold the fish down firmly with your hand near its head and begin to rake the scales from the tail towards the head. They should start coming off in clamps. Next, be sure to remove the scales on both sides of the fish as well as scales near the fins, the collar, and the tail. And lastly, number 5. When you think you have gotten most of the scales, you can rinse the fish off again with water. This will wash away any loose scales and help you to identify any remaining scales that you need to be removed. Now let's proceed to filleting fish. Filleting is the process of removing the flesh of a fish 
which has been cut or sliced away from the bone by cutting lengthwise along one side of the fish parallel to the backbone. Here are the steps in filleting fish. First, cut behind the head while angling the knife toward the front of the fish. Cut down to the bone and follow the line through to just behind the fish. Turn the fish and run the knife just clear of the fins with a slight downward angle. Second, peel the fillet back and run the knife over the backbone, severing the small lateral fish bones in the process. Stop at this point. Turn the fish over and repeat the procedure. Repeat the second cut near the dorsal fin with the knife angled slightly down. Number 5. Cut any remaining attached sinew or skin. Remove the first fillet. Flip the fish back to the original side and cut the bones around the gut cavity. And release the rest of the fillet from the backbone. Next is skinning fish. Skinning is the process of removing skin from a fish mainly to prepare muscle tissues beneath for consumption. Here are the steps in skinning fish. Number 1. Stop when you have an inch or two of fillet released. Second, change your grip on the fillet to secure grip on the tab of fish skin you created with the first cut. Third, firmly hold the knife still and at a fixed angle. Fourth, wriggle the skin from side to side while pulling backwards on the tab of fish skin. Fifth, continue this motion through the fillet. Sixth, the fillet and skin are parted and no fleshes have been wasted nor have left any skin or scales on the fillet. Next is deboning fish. Deboning is the process involves using a specialty knife to separate flesh from bones. Here are the steps in deboning fish. First, we have to slice the fish open. Start by slicing the fish at the dorsal fin. Then split the head open with your knife by adding a bit force. Second, when it's open and spread out, remove the gills and the guts from the stomach and remove the backbone. Third step, with the use of forceps, start removing the rib bones. Fourth, remove the spines one after the other by inserting the pair of forceps or tweezer between the segments of the dorsal and ventral muscles. Continue removing the spines in a similar manner on the dorsal and ventral area. Now let's move on to opening clumps and oysters. Open clumps and oysters for waste minimization techniques and environmental considerations in relation to seafood. The following are the steps in opening clumps. First, scrub clumps under cool running water using a stiff kitchen brush. Number two, over a bowl, Hold the clam firmly in the hand and insert the clam knife between the top shell and bottom shell. Use towel to protect your hands. Work the knife to cut through the hinge muscle. Third, open the shell. Slide the knife between the clam and the shell. Detach the clam. The clam is now ready to be cooked or eaten raw. Next is about opening an oyster. First, insert oyster knife at hinge slowly but firmly and push the knife between the shells. Use a slight side-to-side -side rocking movement with your knife as you push in. Second, work tip of knife into the oyster. Third, twist knife handle to pop oyster open. Fourth, Push knife into oyster and slice muscle from the top shell. Fifth, 
open the top shell and lastly cut muscles from bottom cup next we have splitting a lobster splitting is the process of dividing the lobster into two parts here are the steps in splitting a lobster first place the lobster on its back on a tea towel to prevent slipping second using a heavy sharp knife cut right through the underside of the body and tail down the center third turn the lobster around and continue to cut through the center of the head then cut the center using the heavy sharp knife to sum up all the lessons why do you think is it important to familiarize the cooking techniques for fish and shellfish? Knowing those cooking techniques makes you aware and knowledgeable in preparing and cooking fish and shellfish effectively. Let us check your understanding by doing this activity. Your activity is entitled, You Complete Me. Direction. Complete the following statement that describes the proper guidelines in checking the freshness of fish and shellfish. Choose your answer inside the box. Number 1. The texture of fish should be firm and blank. Number 2. Eyes of fish are blank, shiny, and bulging. Number 3. Live crabs should be kept blank until cooked. Number 4. Frozen shrimp should be solidly blank when received. And lastly, number 5. Strong fishy odor or a blank color is a sign of age or spoilage. For your performance output, take a video of yourself performing any fish dish that you want to prepare for your lunch or dinner. Your performance output will be evaluated using these rubrics. Now let's proceed to our quiz number 6. On a clean sheet of paper, answer the following questions. Number 1. What process is dividing the lobster into two parts? Is it A. Deboning, B. Filleting, C. Scaling, or D. Splitting? Number 2. What process is removing skin from a fish mainly to prepare muscle tissues beneath for consumption? Is it A. Deboning, B. Scaling, C. Skinning, or D. Splitting? Number 3. What process is removing the flesh of a fish which has been cut or sliced away from the bone? Is it A. Deboning, B. Filleting, C. Scaling, or D. Skinning? Number 4. What process is removing scale from a fish? Is it A. Deboning, B. Filleting, C. Scaling or D. Skinning And lastly, number 5. What process involves using a specialty knife to separate flesh from bones? Is it A. Deboning B. Scaling C. Skinning or D. Splitting And for your assignment, 
Let us see how far you have learned from this lesson. To show your understanding, I want you to answer the following questions. Number 1. What are the things you should consider in cooking fish and shellfish? And number two, how will you know if the shellfish you buy in the market is fresh? Give the characteristics of fresh shellfish. That's all for today. I hope you learned something. See you on our next video lesson.